Okay, so I'm here for some NCAA softball. We have a couple games on that from now. We have Boston University taking on and Dartmouth. And we have CLU and Utah Valley at Utah Valley. We have North Florida taking on UCF. That was in a double header. And we have in the Florida right in the Florida teams. A Sun Nance. Big twelve. It was A Sun and American last seasons. It was American last season for you see. But this an academic year it's big twelve. And it's two nothing in favor of the UCF Nets. And we have the second game between the Gardner Webb of the Big Scout South and East Tennessee State of the Soap Kind, the Southern Conference. They played a double game one earlier today, a couple hours ago. Started, <laughs> and it just got over about a half hour ago. It actually it was about a half hour ago, and Gardner Webb ended up winning that one, eleven to two. It was a run rule. Game four, Gardner Webb. Maybe it was eleven to three, but it was a run rule nonetheless. So we have a high. We have some good games here. Coming up, we have. Speaking of games, we have number two in Boston University. And every game is an ESPN Plus. Some are on like school websites only. You know, I know like softball, baseball. Like, you know, some schools choose to do their own. You know, have certain games on like school websites. Some don't. I know at least like some schools, some conferences did. But now for like smaller sports, you know, some may not televise like their sports, you know, in other in certain conferences. Or they might just be on like their own like web school websites, or you know like a conference streaming website. They, like I know conference USA baseball stuff on every game is on, on ESPN Plus. You know like Jack like Jacksonville State game. So I know some of the softball baseballs but conference USA, maybe golf tennis, are on conference USA that T I believe for three years paid. We're trying to like do double duty, like you know, you know, maybe the sports that ESPN doesn't cover, but you know, they choose to cover on their own. Who knows, you know? But either way, I don't know. But either way, we got Boston University down one at Dartmouth by 4 3. They're supposed to take on you not slow in the double header, but it's not today. Or is that tomorrow? No. He said I was right. We're supposed to get new as well in the double header. However, that has been changed. And Starmouth 4, Boston University 3 4, Starmouth leading by 1. We have Rhode Island beat Bryant 5 0. Pitt Boston College 2 0 on Connecticut and Rama 6. IEP and Notre Dame cancel their game as well due to weather. We have UCF 2-0 on North Florida in top of second. We have Gardner Webb, yep, Run Road East NCC, 11-2. Gardner Webb East NCC, Warren Squirrels in top of the first. Kelsey North or Long Beach State is not playing right now. They are playing, but they're not on ESPN Plus. Not every game is on ESPN Plus for softball. So a lot of these are either on school websites. Especially when they do softball and baseball, it's not like, oh, well, they can use like the same cameras, you know, for softball, baseball, you know, two, you know, that's the thing too, you know, is they only have so many cameras for softball and baseball, you know, and then some schools, you know, they have baseball at home and but softball is on the road, so you know you have both, you know, you know what I mean? So if one both are playing at home, you know, 
manage to tell by his one needs to be plus ones and like screen score up eight or something like that. Who knows? But we have we have a bunch of cancel due to weather here. And we have Ohio beat Kent State 5 1 and 7 1 in their doubleheader. Now we have Ohio run 1 10 0. P possibly run one, doesn't say it. My I was up 5 0 in Bowling Green. Then in the bottom of the third. Toledo and Central Michigan. They were supposed to play two. One is canceled, one got canceled. And in softball, it's hard to make up games. If you play like a mid, if you play Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if you play like midweek games, you know, it's hard to like make up games, you know. If teams, you know, teams have, you know, for midweek games, it's hard, you know, to make up games, especially due to weather. And if you're playing a midweek game, like, the state, and then you have to play one right here. And then you have to travel for this one immediately after the game. And then play. And then you're playing, you know, a bunch of games. Like, it's not like, um, like pro sports. I mean, yeah, sure, you're, being, you're playing, but, you know. Some of these schools, they might be, you know, smaller sports, they're chartering. Maybe chartering, not flying. Or a commercial flight. So it's like, oh, I don't know. So, so. And then we have Central Michigan, 3 2 and Toledo on top of the fourth. Cancel. Buffalo and Akron cancel their doubleheader. Western Michigan, Ball State might cancel their doubleheader. Their conference doubleheader. It is. Cancel the second game. First game is still score set. It's supposed to be an East Wing plus both games, but who knows? They might be canceled. So, both of them. We have Nurmac Stonehill. Played one. 6-4 game. They're making sure they can get at least one in against every conference opponent. They're supposed to play three, but but two today and one tomorrow. That is, they played only one today and canceled the second one. They might play one tomorrow, so they'll make two. Friday they could see one, canceled one, and they're postponing one until t and they're postponing until tomorrow. Same for Agnar Long Island, they're postponing have a double header tomorrow. There's a bunch of games canceled. And we have Seattle, Utah Valley. See, Utah Valley up 10 3 and Seattle on the top, bottom of the fourth. And it's possibly what's well, going to be a run road. Yeah, 6 it is 4 3. Dartmouth up on Boston University. You have Utah, the 27 3 Boston University against 6 and 10 Dartmouth out of the Ivy League. We have CLU down 8 to Utah Valley. 11 3, 4, 3 is a conference match. And CLU is 6 and 3 in conference, Utah Valley is 6 and 3. Utah Valley is 12 and 17 or and in, in CLU used to 14 18. Just depends on availability, like do you play in tournaments? Do games get rained out, you know? Or can and cancelled. Especially in these tournaments, you know. If they play so many games at a time, like they're gonna like you know, we might get only a few in the game. It's gonna be because it's gonna be hard to reschedule that tournament. You know? You know, especially if you have availability and stuff like that. Use it same field for like youth tournaments, high school tournaments, or club tournaments. You know, like high school seasons going on around the country. So it's 2 nothing UCF or North Florida in North Florida. And we have Gardner East and CC school. You know? So that's, and then we have some games on at 5 Eastern. We have 2 Northern Iowa, Iowa State, and then we have Jackson State, Southeastern is a game 1 of the Double header to the two. We have game two of the about five thirty Eastern CLU Utah Valley. Game two of the double header between North Florida UCF at six thirty. Seven Eastern we have Cuffrey about the San Diego. Utah Arrington, Texas and Commerce. Houston Christian Houston. Utah Tech BYU. And Jackson State Southeast Virginia at six thirty Eastern. Or it's supposed to be at it says so those are at seven Eastern. And then Jackson State Southeast Asia is gonna be at seven thirty Eastern probably into here is at their second one. First one, second one is true. You see a specific that nine Eastern. There were a few earlier today. 
don't know whether you still see Stateless one, but that got, you know, well, so there's only a couple on that time. Really, so there's not a whole lot of work around to do. You know, in the softball world. On ESPN Plus. All these games are on school websites. <coughs> Which. It's not like with basketball. Or basketball. College basketball, you know. Is on ESPN Plus. You may have some sports, you know, being on. Not being on ESPN Plus. So it's like. Kind of hard to find, you know what I mean? I mean, not that, but like they change, like they might be on kind of school website. And this game might not even be televised, you know? Or some of them are like not televised, like like some of these schools, like Charlotte, with Longwood, not televised, only on um, radio only. Local radio only, because when the school gives it the radio feed, that's like the game. But it's like, yeah, so some of these, and these top matchups, some of these top matchups, you know, are only on, like, like, flow, not, like, streaming, okay, sure. Some of them are not even, like, on their school websites, or they're, or they are, you know, or conference website, but they're, like, paid for, paid streams, like, in addition to ESPN Plus, so it's, yeah, we got 6 of 10, Dartmouth, and 23 Boston University. Boston University is 21st ranked team in NCAA softball. They're trying to avoid the upset, especially if they lose to 6 and 10 Dartmouth team. They're lying to fall the top 25, no doubt about it. Ivar is going to check in here with an opportunity. I mean, Dartmouth is leaning 4 3, top 6, like I said. But they have one out, but there are run is a runner on second and there's a runner on first. For Boston University. First pitch takes it for a called strike. Ivor, another freshman from Mont Bellevue, Texas. Played for Barbers Hill High School. Had a strong senior campaign where she was district offensive player of the year. On the season though, this will only be her eighth at bat of the year as she fouls that one off. Tough situation, two hits through seven ABs, four RBIs though, because she hit a grand slam against Elon for her first career hit. Talk about a start to her career, and they're going to trust her in another pivotal situation, down a run, tying run at second, one out in the inning. Swings and misses for strike three. Hall picks up her fourth strikeout and is one out away from getting out of the jam. will step back in. She's gone on base all three times she's come up today. A single, a double, and a hit by pitch. Swings. Base hit. Tying run will round for home. Throw comes from center field. It will not be in time, and the ball gets by. Throw back to third, not in time, and Kelleher will trot back to second. But she did what she had to do, picking up the RBI base hit to tie the game at 4-4. Four to four. FPS came in to score. Net will hold up at third base. And Kelleher will stand at second. Kayla Ronson now steps up. An opportunity. Any hit here with two outs. Results in a lead for Boston University heading into the final two innings. This one misses wide. Boston University has not led today since the top of the first. They have an opportunity to take it back if they can get on base here. 1 0 pitch to Ronson. Fouled out of play, count 1 and 1. Three singles in the inning, resulting in that run up to 11 hits today. It is BU. Ronson's batting 427 on the season, and with this 1 1 count in a pivotal moment, Garmouth will look to talk it over. Taking another look at this hit. Hard hit up the middle, no doubt about it. Throw from center field actually was very close, but just didn't quite get there in time. And since it got by, 
the heads up base running allowed Boston University to put two more runners in scoring position. For Kelleher, she is now three of three on the day with two singles, a double, and now two RBIs on the day. And now Ronson. Can she find a way to give her team the lead? Struck out in her last appearance, her first AB against Hall. And she gets the count at two and one. Infielders will play. Infielders playing the corners here right next to the first and third base backs. This one fouled off. We have a 2 2 count. A lot Hall can do with this one, but it's tough because you, you want to try and throw something away from Ronson. Don't give her a pitch to hit, but you on the count full, it opens up all sorts of other possibilities. The 2 2 pitch for Hall. Hit down the first baseline, but foul. We will do it again. Should be noted, too, that Boston University is getting a great jump with these two outs on any sort of contact, and Kelleher would have undoubtedly come in to score had that one maintained fair. Johnson will have to try and find another way to get on base. 2-2 pitch. Fouled up and out of play back into the seats. Far two spoiled pitches on this 2 2 count for Ronson. Once again, going to be foul, but can Dartmouth record an out? They cannot, as that one just a little too far for the right fielder to get to. And so, for the probably third straight time, both runners will have to return to second and third, and Ronson will have to step back in for a 2 2 count. Hall's getting into a rhythm, though. Found the zone on these pitches. Very hard pitches to hit for Ronson. Once again, the 2-2 misses for the count full. Dartmouth does have a free base to give up if they do indeed block Ronson on this AB. Another pitch in this AB. Hit hard to short. Scoop made. France to first. It will be in time. A huge fielding play to get out of the top of the sixth in a tie game. Four to four, and Dartmouth will be up to bat in the bottom of the sixth. Geico makes car insurance easy. As easy as getting stuffed up during allergy season. Before all the pollen, I used to stop and smell everything. The smell of fresh cut grass, my coffee in the morning, the hot dog smell from the hot dog guy. You did this to me. With an app that puts your policy in your pocket, it's easy to Geico. Curse you, ragweed quality. <laughs> Oh my god. We're gonna be together! Okay, so it's Utah Valley. Now up 11 4 on. Now they need a run in the next. in, in the bottom of the If they don't get any more run. Yeah, right now. Victory.